Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing day six of the 14 days of Valentine's Day. I do want to apologize if my voice sounds weird. We ended up with um, a little cold in our house, so I sound a little ruffled. But let's get into this video. So for today's video, I wanted to do an acrylic Frenchy moment. And for the French, I wanted to do some encapsulations. And um, the color that I'm using for the acrylic is the Valentino Beauty Pure in the color Cotton Candy. It is their acrylic system. I absolutely love Valentino products. Um, I don't think I have been disappointed with any of their products that I have. So I really, really like their gel polishes and their acrylic system. And I am just kind of building out where I want my French tip. This is my first time doing a French tip like this. So it was kind of playing with it at this moment, just figuring out exactly how to start getting that built out. Um, I wanted to build my apex and my cuticle area with this color right off the bat. So that way I can just cap and clear and um, file from that point on. The little tool that you see me using to kind of scrape off excess acrylic, I just got that on Amazon. And I, honestly, I don't even really know. I kind of just was using the corners of it to bring the corners down. And then um, like right there. So I just kind of wanted to use the corners to go down. And then I went back in with my acrylic brush to kind of smooth that out a little bit. That also is an X-Acto knife. Um, I was just using that to help take out the rest of the acrylic residue that was kind of like left over on those little spots and then I'm just going to continue building up around that cuticle area and um, make this portion of it a little bit thicker and stick up off that nail a little bit wider. Once I was done building the, that portion of the Frenchies out, I went in with my file to kind of reshape that area and just make it nice and smooth around the edges and kind of try to get them all to be the same shape and go the same direction. Okay, once I was done going through with my file and kind of just reshaping and making sure they all look the same or similar, um, I went in with the glitter that I was going to encap with, and I got this from Profiles Backstage. Seriously, it is so cute. It has like red hearts, pink hearts, gold hearts, lips, some glitter, some sparkles. It's super, super cute. So if you have not checked out profiles backstage go do so because they have the cutest stuff on their website and what i'm doing is i'm just laying down a super thin layer of clear acrylic so that i can get the glitter to stick on the nail and then i went back through and encapsulated with clear and then when i encapsulated with clear i leveled out the clear with where um, my frenchie is at just so that way it's smooth all the way through you said
Okay, once I was done laying the fringy part of this with the encapsulation, I just went with through with my file, straighten out those edges. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I like to file all on one side of that sidewall to get it nice and tight and then go the opposite direction and get the other side of the sidewall. Also, my fingers kept falling out because I have not been using glue. If you saw in a few videos back, I ended up having to repair my hand, which I was really upset about because she is still fairly new. Um, however, I did just buy their little sticky tags that they um, offer instead of glue. So as soon as I get those, I will be doing a nail video on those using them so you guys can see um, how well they work versus using the glue. So they did keep falling out, which was kind of annoying, but it's okay. We worked with it. Okay, and then I just went in with my 5-in-1 bit from Kira Sky to do the cuticle area. I absolutely love this bit um, to do those sidewalls and cuticles. It does such a great job, and it gets in there nice and tight to give you a nice flush cuticle area. So again, that is the Kira Sky 5-in-1 bit. Once I was done using that bit, I went in with my Creations um, safety bit. This is a medium fine safety bit, and again, that brand is Creations. I love to use this bit to go over and balance that nail, kind of just smooth everything over. Um, I also use this bit if there's any portion of that nail that is super bulky or has a lot more product there. I kind of just go over with that bit. This bit I have set to 15 and I think 15 is a perfect speed for me when it comes to balancing. I don't, I'm not taking off too much product. I'm still able to um, balance and go through that nail nicely. As soon as I am done balancing, I go back through and I just tighten up my shape and make sure everything looks great. Always, always turn your client's hand over and kind of look at those nails from their point of view. This is very important to make sure that you have straight lines going across those nail tips and it also helps you measure the length of your nails and again, make sure they all look the same. Um, so don't skip that step. That step is super, super important. All right, and once I am done and happy with my shape, I'm gonna go through with my sanding band. I got this from Profiles Backstage. It's a purple sanding band, and the mandrel bit I got off of Amazon. I'm just gonna go through and um, take out any imperfections that may have been caused by the balancing bit. And then I also like to take the bit at an angle underneath that nail and kind of take care of any excess product that may have ended up underneath it underneath the nail and then also give it a slight little C curve and just adding some final touches on there. At this point, I would have my clients um, go wash their hands after I was done buffing. I would have my clients go wash their hands to get rid of all of the excess dust and stuff. But Nicole here is attached to my desk, so we're going to spray her with some alcohol. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to go in with my Not Polish Disco um, colors in the liners. And I can't really remember what number this is, but it's the lighter pink one. 
Um, it was super cute and it was a perfect touch. I didn't want to get too crazy with it because the encapsulation, there's already so much going on inside of there. So I thought this would just be a cute little touch. And once I'm done drawing all those Frenchies out, I went ahead and cured for 60 seconds. And then I top coated with the not polished glossed top coat. I cured that top coat for 60 seconds and we were good to go. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue following me along on my journey. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section and I will get right back to you guys. I hope everybody has a lovely Valentine's Day and hopefully you guys enjoyed this set. You say